So, okay na. Start na tayo guys. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. So, paano ko nga ba kinukuha yung macros ko and yung uh, maintenance calories ko? So, una muna yung maintenance calories. So, yung weight ko is 71 kilograms. So, i-convert ko muna siya into pounds. Kasi yun yung kailangan natin na timbang. So, 71 times 2.2. So, it's times 2.2. Kung gusto mong i-convert yung weight mo in kilograms into pounds, it's times 2.2. So, it's 156.2. So, ayan yung weight ko in pounds. Tapos, para kunin yung maintenance calories ko, um, i-multiply ko siya by 16. So, itong 16, hindi siya as, at, uh, as is. It depends on your total daily energy expenditure or TDE or how active you are. Yung activity level mo uh, as a person. Like, for me, it's times 16 kasi super active ako. I work in the gym and I train 6 times a week. So, so sobrang active ko. But, if you're, for example, you're only training 4 times a week and hindi ka naman ganun super super active talaga, um, kunin mo lang is times 14. So, body weight in pounds times 14. For example, you're training just 3 times a week or 4 times a week max in the gym. And then, you're working in the in the mall, something like that. So, kunin mo lang, it's times 14. But, if you are super active, you work in the gym, and you're a cyclist, for example, and you train 5 times to 6 times per week, get times 16, okay? And there's another one, body weight in pounds times 12. So, in times 12 naman, dun siya sa mga nagte-train lang twice a week. And, for example, um, they work in the office for 8 to 9 hours, nakaupo lang, like for example, call center, something like that, and they only train twice a week, or just yung lifestyle mo lang is sedentary, just get times 12, okay, kuha? So, times 12, times 14, and times 16. So, para sa akin, times 16. So, kunin natin, 156.2 times 16. So, it's 2,499.2. So, gawin na lang natin 2,500. So, 2,500. So, yung 2,500, ayun na yung maintenance calories ko. So, ngayon, naka-deficit ako. Kasi gusto kong mag-shred down. Um, gusto kong mag-cut down. I want to look leaner. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko, magde-deficit ako. Paano kunin yung deficit? So, usually, um, if you want to go on a deficit, it's maintenance calories minus 500. So, you will go on a 500 calorie deficit. But for me, hindi ako ganun. Um, gradual lang ako. So, ang um, binabawas ko lang dyan usually is minus 200 or minus 300. Kasi yung workload ko, sobrang taas din. And I'm burning around 2,800 to 3,000 calories per day. So, sobrang taas nun, and then, yung deficit ko magiging sobrang laki din. So, ang ginagawa ko lang dyan is minus 300. So, I will go on a deficit, 300. So, 2,200 calories. Yan na yung um, caloric deficit na tinatawag natin. Caloric deficit ko yan. Okay? So, 2,200 calories. That's my caloric deficit. And then, Paano ko ba kukunin yung protein? So, sa protein muna tayo. Protein, it's body weight in pounds. So, body weight in pounds ulit tayo. 156.2 times, um, depende rin yan. Okay? Kapag um, sobrang baba ng carbs mo, kailangan mo talaga itaas yung protein mo. And for example, um, you are on contest prep, kailangan talaga high protein din yung diet mo. So, and for the athletes, kailangan din high protein talaga yan. But for, if you wanna go on a maintenance lang, so it's just, you can get it like your body weight in pounds times 1 or times 0 0.8. Ganon, okay? But for me, as an athlete, 
And now, I'm on a carb cycling diet. So, most of the time, naka-low carbs ako. Five times a week, naka-low carbs ako. So, I will get times 1.5. Okay? So, body weight in pounds times 1.5. 106.2 times 1.5 so 234.3 so that's the grams of protein na kailangan kong i-eat every single day okay especially on the days na naka-low carb ako and then kunin naman natin yung fats so paano ko ba kinukuha yung fats so same body weight in pounds 156.2 times 0.5 So, as is yan para sa akin yung 0.5. So, 6.2 times 0.5. Okay? So, yung iba, um, talagang binabagsak nila yung fats nila to 0.25. But for me, okay na ako dun, 0.5. So, I got 78.1 grams. Okay, to be exact. So, ayun na. Nakuha na natin yung protein and fat macros natin. Tsaka yung caloric deficit natin. So, paano naman natin kukunin yung carbs? Kailangan mo munang malaman to, Okay? So, protein, 1 gram of protein is, is equals to 4 calories. Okay? So, and then 1 gram of fat is equals to 9 calories. Malinaw. And then yung carbs, 1 gram of carbs is same with protein. So, 4 calories. So, nakuha na natin yan. So, kunin na natin yung carbs ngayon. So, ganito yan. So, 1 gram of protein is equal to 4 calories, right? So, yung protein natin is 234. 234.3 to be exact. 234.3 grams. That time, sumo siya sa 4. So, Equals 937.2. And then yung fats, 78.1 times 9. Kasi 9 calories, di ba? So it's 702.9. So pag a mo ngayon yung protein and yung fats mo. So 702.9. Plus 937.2. So it's 1,640.1. Tapos yung total ng protein at fat mo, i-minus mo siya dun sa caloric deficit mo. So 2,200 calories. 1,200 Minus 1640.1. So, it's 559.9. Five <laughs> My goodness. So, 560. So, yung 560 na yon, para makuha natin yung carbs. I-divide naman natin ngayon siya sa 4. Kasi nga, 1 gram of carbs is 4 calories. So, it's 140 calories. I mean, so 140 grams, sorry. 140 grams. So, nakuha na natin yung carbs sa wakas. 140 grams ng carbs. So, buo na yung macros natin. And yung caloric deficit natin. So, okay na. Set na ulit yung macros ko. 2,200 calories per day. Protein is 234 grams. Fat is 78 grams. And 140 grams of carbs on my low-carb days. So, ito yung macros ko on my low-carb days. And then, ang ginagawa ko naman, kasi may high-carb day ako. Pag high-carb day naman ako, ang ginagawa ko dyan, binababa ko yung protein ko. So, yung protein ko, instead na times 1.5, binababa ko, ya, ko siya sa times 1.2. So, ito ay para sa akin, okay? Kasi nagka-carb cycling ako. 
may high carb day ako na tinatawag. So, body weight in pounds times 1.2. So, from 234, binababa ko yung protein ko sa 187. And then, yung carbs ko, tinataas ko siya. So, yung 140, minumultiply ko siya sa 2.5. So, 350 grams ng carbs ako on high carb day. So, yung fats, same yon Same siya, 78. Or lower. Kasi usually, hindi ko naman nare-reach itong 78. So, ayan. Yung macros ko, on my low-carb day, 234 protein, 78 fats, 140 grams carbs. That's low-carb day. And then high-carb day, protein macro, 187, carbs, 350. Sarap. And then fats, 78 grams. And then, sometimes I'm having a medium-carb day in between. But... If I can stick to low carb days for like six days, and I don't feel bad, I don't feel irritated, or my mood is not, um, I'm not having a mood swing. So I'm mas maganda. Pero if medyo nahirapan ako sa workout ako, sa workout ko, for example, um, yun naglalagay ako ng isang medium carb day. So sa medium carb day, um, inaajus ko lang ng konti yung carbs. Instead of 140, pinataas ko lang siya. Dinadagdagan ko lang siya ng, for example, 50 grams. So, I go 190. 190 to 200 maximum. Pero very rare na nangyayari yun. Kasi, um, sanay na yung katawan ko. Kung umpisa, talaga nahirapan ako. Kaya naglagay ako ng medium carb day. And, but for now, I'm good sticking to like 5 to 6 days on low carbs. And then, one day high carb. So, ayun. Ganun lang kadali, guys. And this set of macros is for me. Okay? So, yung computation na ginawa ko, pwede nyo rin um, i-adapt sa sarili nyo. And binigay ko naman sa inyo yung formulas, which is napaka-simple. Pinasimple ko na lang talaga. And this formula is around 90% accurate naman. And it works. Hindi lang para sa akin. It also works for my clients and for other persons na nag-train ng ganun formula. And ayaw ko naman kasing pahirapan kayo masyado. Pa. Kaya pinasimple ko na lang. So, ayun guys. Sana nagets nyo. And if may questions kaya suggestions, just let me know. And thank you so much for um, watching my vlogs and for all your support. And tuloy-tuloy lang tayo, okay? So, Road to Shredville. Um, stay tuned for more episodes. Love you guys. See you on the next vlog. God bless.